Okay guys, so back with social media trends right here on VNTV. My name is Makafui and don't forget to follow us on all our social media platforms and let's get interactive. Me not on Instagram, it's VNation TV. On Twitter, it's VNPVNTV. On Snapchat, it is VNation TV. And on Facebook, it is VNTV. Follow us now and let's get interactive. Now let's move on to the social media trends of the day. Let's, let me tell you the gist I have for you today. Now Moisha, we're talking about Moisha. It looks like Moisha is always in the news. Every day Moisha, today Moisha, uh, tomorrow Moisha. We won't stop talking about her till, you know, she stops, or maybe she wouldn't stop doing what she does for her to come in the news every day till we guys stop talking about her. So yes, today Moisha is saying that she's not as bad as people think she is. Every day Moisha, today Moisha, you know, people are always saying Moisha is a bad girl, a bad girl. And she has been talking a bad girl because I think it's because of the nude pictures and videos she always she's always posting on her social media pages and then you know everybody does that she's not the only one why judge her only and then it became worse after her interview at cnn when she went to say that she sleeps with men blah 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 for money and then you know she said she didn't say a good thing but maybe she said the truth about her life and all she said the truth but she what i think uh, went wrong was she couldn't she shouldn't have included other girls but you know she's not the only one who does that so why judge her so moisha said people judge her wrongly they misjudge her they misunderstand her you know if you don't get close to someone you wouldn't know how the person really is now talking about uh dressing and all let's talk about ebony may her soul rest in peace ebony came with that kind of lifestyle and all and the people started criticizing her so she lost her life now we don't know you shouldn't judge people about the way they dress so moisha would say she's not as bad as people think she is so people should stop misjudging her now away from that majid michelle it was it was um, it was heard that she he flown outside the country to undergo a throat surgery because he had a problem with his truth and all yeah so majid michelle has come back safely with his truth he, you know he's talking normal and all but what is um going on somewhere else is that Majid Michelle never flown outside of Ghana to undergo a third surgery yes I know you also be shocked because there was this video someone posted and, and captioned it that when God gives you voice he has given you voice it doesn't matter um, the number of pain you get in the voice or anything he has still given you the voice to preach so yes you would be able to preach and the fact that you've seen a man um, sleeping in an airplane that doesn't mean that he is going outside to undergo surgery we don't know which one to pick either to pick the man's own or to pick um, what is trending on social media but right now we, we don't have anything to say about it because Majid Michel himself hasn't come out to say that he went outside or he did not so we have nothing to say about that but the only thing that's trending on social media about Majid Michel that he's talking so well you could hear him clearly you don't need to you know test him or uh, come to him to tell him whatever you want to tell him you can call him and then you, you guys can talk perfectly so we are very happy and excited for him and we are praying it doesn't happen again we are all praying nothing bad happens again now enough from Ghana away from that um, let's move into Nigeria Yemi Alade celebrated 30th birthday with stunning photos I mean when I saw those pictures I was like oh my god that was so amazing that was so she looks so beautiful in those pictures and all now we are wishing Yemi Alade a later birthday because on the 13th yes I think 13th was her birthday and then she celebrated it so well she's so excited about whatever is going on now here is a little bio about Yemi Alade and the day she was born and all so yeah Yes, Yemi Aberechi Alade was born on the 13th March 1989 in the Abia State, Nigeria. Her father, James Alade, a police commissioner of Yoruba origin, while her mother, Helen Uzoma, I hope I got that right too, of Igbo origin, resulting in her being referred to as Yoruba Igbo Girl. Yes, Yoruba Igbo Girl. So Yemi Alade is being referred to as Yoruba Igbo Girl. Now she's from Ondo State and Alade is the fifth out of the seventh in her family. Wow. Wow. Your parents really did well. I mean, she's the fifth out of seven and she's 30 now. So you can just imagine her elder brother or her elder sister, her age, uh, his or her age right now. Now, what we are saying is that happy belated birthday to Yemi Alade. And I love, personally, I love the pictures. Like you looked in those pictures. 
All right, so away from Yemi Adade's story, let's talk a bit about Victor A.D., who has come out to give his fans a little about how life is going uh, with the music industry and all, and how it is paying off. Now, we are happy it is paying off for him, because, you know, it's not everybody that will come out and be like, the music industry is paying off, and a whole lot of musicians are complaining. But we are glad Victor A.D. is actually, you know, saying that the music industry is paying off, and it's taking him into places. Is taking him to so many places and we are very happy for him and then he he posted a picture on Instagram which was captioned that this time last year I had no passport however following the success of my music career Dubai is like is now like a backyard yes yeah, so I'm going to repeat that again he said last time uh, last year this time yes last year this time I had no passports however following the success of my music career Dubai is now like a backyard you know I read that twice because it's it's it sounds amazing like we are so happy for him you could know you should you should know uh, uh, with this that he's very happy about how the music industry is going for him now we are hoping and praying that he releases more bangers because without a banger you can't go forward yes that's what is, 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 is um, in the news like if you don't have a banger you can't go forward so after re uh, releasing wait till we gain we are we are looking forward and he has released a couple of songs apart from that one apart from waiting again he has released a couple of songs and we are still hoping that he brings more bangers of bangers so that the music in uh, the music industry pays off so much more for him so he can travel to any place that he wants you know he live happily and then you know yes so we are hoping we are praying for victor 80 to release more bangers so that he he, he gets more 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 money because i mean this like what are you what are we what are you fighting for money yes so and without without working hard you can't get the money too so yes he needs to work harder and harder to get the money for the music industry to pay off enough now moving away from that let's move internationally we've been in africa for you know some time yes let's talk a little bit about what's happening outside africa now um sierra we all know sierra the level up hit maker you know level up yeah that lady um she comes she has come out to say that um abstaining from sex to marriage it, it, it took prayers like yes she and her husband russell wilson i hope i got that name right russell wilson yes they had to abstain from sex for some time before getting married now this story, this story when i saw i was like oh my god they tried because you know even if you're dating being together being together just dating being together and you guys see each other every day and all it's going to be kind of hard to abstain from sex to marriage and god knows god knows the the number of years or months or you know yes they abstained from sex before getting married so she said it wasn't easy and i agree with her it, it's not easy it's never easy and then it's it's very hard to get a man who would accept something like this from you you know be like oh baby i want us to abstain from sex till marriage and you know 21st century like it's going to be really hard but her husband tried so she is saying she's giving her husband the accolades for bringing you know her husband also added up with the idea meaning they both agreed on they both brought the idea they, they both settled and agreed on and lived happily and they got married so they got married in 2012 so we're just um i'm just wondering the number of years and the number of months they abstained from sex i mean this 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 news is giving me huge know, i don't know how to how to put it but you know it's it's amazing it's amazing and she's saying she's giving her husband the credit for you know bringing such an idea because no man or if you take like 100 percent you get like 10 percent or 20 percent who men of men who would actually do something like this so she's actually she really respects her husband for that all right so guys that's all for today too bad that's all for today but you can log on to www.vnationtv.com for more updates more you know more stories and entertainment and trendy stories on social media for you to get that just log on to www.vnationtv.com and also subscribe to our youtube channel because that is where you get a repost of all the exciting programs if only you miss that is where you're going to get a repost of it so you can watch and enjoy and also follow us on all our social media platforms i said that earlier and i'm going to repeat that again follow us on our social media platforms on facebook vntv snapchat vnationtv twitter vmpvntv 
and on Instagram it is V Nation TV. And lastly, download the VN TV app. It's available on Google Play Store. You just all you have to do, take your phone, your laptop, your iPad, or anything you want to download it on. Just go to Google Play Store, type V Nation TV together, it will appear so you can download it. We stream a whole lot of interesting movies, interesting music, and you know programs you can think of that will keep you entertained that is what we do right here on at vntv my name is makafi join us same time next week bye